What's up everybody, I am Jasparit Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Our parents and grandparents lived in the era of opportunity through working a job. In this previous generation, if you went to school and got a job, you were pretty much guaranteed to live a good life with a pension waiting for you when you retire. Back in my day, you worked a job, got paid a nickel, and you could afford to buy a house. Sorry to say it, but that era is dead. If you are a millennial or a Generation Z or, or whatever is after Generation Z, and you follow this traditional system of go to school, get a job, finance a big house, invest a little bit of money in your 401k, and try to pay down your student loans, you are going to have to work harder and longer than the generation before you for a less lavish life. I got paid a nickel and uh, I couldn't afford a house, so I bought some avocado toast instead, and now I'm $8,000 deep in credit card debt. But that doesn't mean that all hope is lost. It means that you have to find the new opportunity in our new era. Let me tell you the reality. So for 90% of employees, one stream of income will not be enough anymore. This is what school is too scared to tell you. However, because of the internet, it is now easier than ever to start earning the extra money on the side without starting your own business. This way, you can earn that extra cash and take care of your family and continue to live your life. Hey, hide my phone. I can't let my main job find out about my side job. So here are the seven top side hustles for those of you who are ready to cheat on your main job. And before we get into it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel. This way you don't miss our new videos every single week. Side hustle number one, freelancing. How do I make money if it's free, Jaspreet? There's nothing free about freelancing, especially for the people that will be paying you for your time. With freelancing now, instead of starting your own online business, you are servicing other online businesses and these businesses will pay you for your time. I have hired freelance writers, designers, web developers, marketers, and even voiceover artists. And these are people who have never met before and I have no control over your schedule, but I pay good money for their services. Plus, as entrepreneurship is becoming more and more popular, the demand for freelancers is going through the roof because hiring a freelancer is so much easier than hiring an employee. Freelancing is something that doesn't take a lot of money to start. You can do this from home, you can set your own schedule, and you can set your own prices, and there are a ton of websites that can help you start. And because you're on contract, you can charge a lot more per hour than if you were an employee. If you wanna learn more about freelancing, I'll link a video where I talk more about this in the description below. But now, let's talk about number two, social media marketing. Every single business nowadays needs an internet presence. I mean, Minority Mindset is completely built around the internet, but there are still thousands and thousands of business owners who think a post is something you tie a horse to. I'm gonna take my horse to the, hey, where'd my horse go? So if you understand social media marketing, you can charge businesses thousands of dollars a month to handle their internet presence. And if you don't understand how to do it, there are a lot of people selling courses that will teach you how to do social media marketing. Hey, where's my money? Come on. TikTok, I don't have all day. You know, because TikTok is a social media app, get it? Side hustle number three, vlogging. So the word blog is short for weblog, and the word vlog is short for video weblog, and clogging is my new favorite dance. Vlogging is when you make videos for YouTube or Facebook or really anywhere on the internet so you can build an audience. What's up audience? How are you doing? When you build this audience, you can get paid through advertising, kind of like how you see commercials on TV. On YouTube, you'll see advertisements before you watch our videos, and you can get paid through affiliate marketing, which is when you promote somebody else's products to your audience, and you get paid a percentage of revenue for every sale that you bring. And if you have your own products or services, well, now you just 10x your revenue. Think of it this way. Let's say you have 10,000 people who watch your videos, and out of these 10,000 people, just 100 of them buy a $10 product. That is $1,000 worth of revenue from just one video to an audience of 10,000 people. 
Minority Mindset has its own product as well. You've probably seen me talk about our financial newsletter. Well, here on YouTube, we provide a lot of financial education, but if you want to make the smartest money decisions, you have to know what's happening in the finance and business news. This is where our financial newsletter comes in, and our newsletter is completely free because we have sponsors from other businesses that we approve, and if you like these businesses, you can support their business by giving them your business. This newsletter is completely free, and you can subscribe to our financial newsletter where we give you financial news you can finally use by clicking the link in the description below or by clicking the link up here. That's exactly how I promote our products and you can do the exact same thing. Side hustle number four, e-commerce. One of the biggest drawbacks to opening your own retail store is, well, you have to open your own retail store. You have to buy a whole bunch of inventory and keep this in your garage, which is very, very expensive and you have to hire a bunch of employees to manage your store and sell your products. E-commerce is actually how I got started on the internet side of business because I created the sock and I had a sock business, but now there's an even easier way to sell online through e-commerce through something called dropshipping. If you've ever been to a Minority Mindset store at minoritymindsetstore.com, you've probably seen that we have a bunch of apparel from t-shirts to hoodies to hats to mugs that have Minority Mindset branded things. Well, all of these things that we sell on a Minority Mindset store are things that I don't keep in my garage. These are drop shipped products, meaning I don't actually own any inventory. When you come onto our store and you make a purchase, that purchase will automatically go to our manufacturer and then they will create the product and ship it out to you. And if you pay $25 for a shirt, well, the money that the manufacturer needs, he will automatically take it from the $25 and whatever is left over is our profit. Tons of e-commerce stores now follow this drop shipping model. Like if you ever go to an e-commerce store selling those Hello Kitty sweatshirts for $40, well, what's probably happening is that store owner is getting the Hello Kitty sweatshirt for $8 from China. And when you purchase that product for $40, that order will then go to the manufacturer in China who will take $8, give the other $32 to the store owner. And then this manufacturer in China will take this product and ship it out to you, the buyer of the product. The key here, the real secret sauce to drop shipping is how you can get targeted visitors onto your website because that's what's gonna drive your sales. Side hustle number five, be a virtual assistant. You ever see those really shady posters on the side of the road saying work from home, call this number, and then there's a random phone number that's scribbled on it with a marker? Yeah, well, this isn't that kind of work from home. There is a huge market for virtual assistants where you could be working one, two, eight hours a day where you work for another business or a professional by managing their emails or responding to emails or making phone calls or just doing things to help organize this other person's life. I know this because I have a virtual assistant and he gets paid seven days a week and this is somebody I've never met before and his job is to check my emails and make my life easier because I get tons of emails every single day and even if there isn't that much work, he still gets paid. I've never met my virtual assistant, he sets his own hours and you don't need a ton of skills to do this. Side hustle number six, take advantage of online education. When I was just trying to understand how business worked on the internet with my sock business, I got scammed by a fake marketing company. Oh no. Oh yeah, and this upset me so much that I went out and I created a course on how to launch a business without getting screwed over because I didn't want to see other entrepreneurs get screwed over the same way I was. I posted my class on a platform called Udemy and before I took the class down, a few hundred people signed up and that's when I realized, wow, People really want to learn things online from people that are actually doing something. You have kids from around the world that want to learn how to speak English. You have kids in high school that need help with math. And you have adults that want to learn how to use Excel on their computer. And these are all things that you can teach online. If you don't want to start your own online tutoring company, you can go to one of these other online tutoring companies and become a tutor here and teach other people the skills that you know. And side hustle number seven, wholesale real estate. Okay, so I cheated a little bit. This one is not a side hustle that you do on the internet, but it is one of my favorite side hustles and it can easily become a full-time hustle if you wanted it to. So I got into real estate through the investing side after my sophomore year in college. And then during my junior year in college, I went out and I got my real estate salesperson license and I worked for a brokerage called Keller Williams. 
Well, the boss in my brokerage was actually a teacher of wholesale real estate and she invited me to one of these real estate seminars where she taught real estate wholesaling. I had no idea what wholesaling real estate was and she was like, because you work for my office, Just Breathe, I'll give you a free ticket, which is normally valued at $350. I don't have anything to lose. I was getting a free $350 ticket and I get to learn something about real estate. So I went and that's when I learned about this thing called wholesaling real estate. So in a very, very general sense, Wholesaling real estate is when you find a seller who is struggling to sell their home. So this might be a seller who's selling their property for sale by owner. And you go to the seller and say, hi, I want to buy your property. And you enter into a contract to buy their property for let's say $10,000 below market value. You have no intention to buy the property. You're just entering the contract to buy their property. And then once you have this contract, you are gonna market the same property for sale at a higher price. And then you're gonna sell this new buyer your contract to buy it for the higher price. At the end of the seminar, they pitched a course on how to do this whole wholesaling real estate thing. And it was a few thousand dollars, which was a huge investment for me back then. And I made the purchase, not really knowing what to expect. And that's when I learned that there are a lot of ways to do this wholesaling real estate. I did something called rent to own, where before somebody actually bought the property, they lived in the property as a tenant for 12 to 18 months, paying rent to the owner. And then they, at the end of this lease term, they bought the property. I know it sounds a little confusing because it's a little bit complex, but it's a great way to start your side hustle. To put it in context, after I paid a few thousand dollars to understand how wholesaling real estate worked, I didn't get a sale for the next four months. So I made no money for just around four months. And then that fifth month, that was the first month that I closed the sale. And I think I closed two of them. And I made a total of $17,500 in profit after my two deals. That's when I knew I was onto something with this whole wholesaling real estate thing. So I jumped in with both feet. What are some other side hustles that people can do either on the internet or off? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss any videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when the new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.